Hello everyone, I'm going to talk about how to create a KML file with as many points as possible you want. Let's get started. First, let's look at a, a KML file I created. Uh, I put a, a few points in file and I use this file to create a KML file. And then uh, let's see how it looks like. So first, I need to I'm gonna open Google Pro. Launching my Google Pro and uh, I'm gonna show you an example I created. Um, this is my point. I'll click on it and open. And as you can see, these are points I created, okay. And uh, if you go to this left column and uh, click on this uh, drop down list icon and another drop down list icon and another one, you'll see there are many points right here. I, I added 20, uh, 24 points, right? 24 points because it started with this zero. 24 points. Let's see, okay. That's the first point, okay. First point, second point. That's my third point. And uh, that's my fourth point, okay. So how to uh, create them like in a second quickly? I'll give you one example. So first, to contain the coordinates of these points. So the coordinates are longitude and latitude of each point. For example, here I will give you this. I put my all points into this text file. I use a text editor to open it. Uh, here I use Vim. Vim open this file and as you can see that's the first line each line includes two values the first value is the longitude of the point the second value is the latitude of the point so they together build coordinates of a point so the one line or one row is one point and uh, second row is the second point. So you can add as many points as possible you want. You can add more points as long as uh, you give a uh, longitude and latitude. Okay, here I just give you, as you can see, I give you uh, 24 lines and uh, that means uh, in this file I have 24 sets of coordinates or 24 points. Close it. And uh, how do we convert this text file into a KM file? Uh, in a second, you just need to use a tool called a GMT to KML. This tool is from a software called Generic Mapping Tools. You can Google Generic Mapping Tools or GMT to find it. This software contains many tools and uh, GMT to KML is one of them. So how to use this little tool GMT to KML to convert this volcano.txt text file into a KML file. I'm going to show you. You're going to use GMT to KML space volcano type this text file name and uh, argument G argument G is for filling these points with color so here I use red I'm gonna fill it it's the infill color so I'm gonna assign a feature type for it it's a F argument 
it's a symbol okay we see these points as a symbol so I'll put to I say volcano dot kml so that's it that's a uh, one command line and uh, enter so that's it one second so as you can see I'm gonna show the cam file we generated so as you can see that's a volcano kml file so there are two KML files in this uh, directory. That's the example I showed you at the beginning of this video. And uh, this is the KML file we generated just seconds ago. Okay, use from this Volcano uh, text file. Show you. I'm going to delete this example. And then let's, I'm going to open. And uh, this is my Volcano KML file generated from the Volcano text file okay and uh, choose it click on open and as you can see there are many dots generated right that's red dots so what are they so you can choose actually these are a few of volcano I collected that's a volcano uh, from Italy um, you can see this beautiful crater okay let's go to another one the one oh that's uh, in the US okay I guess this is a mountain Rainier yeah that's mountain Rainier And uh, you can click on point C11. That's Mountain St. Helens. St. Helens just erupted uh, in 1980. So here is you can actually change the icon. For example, the command line I used to use this one, right? You can delete the G argument. Okay, use uh, I argument. I argument is for adding the URL link of an icon file. For example, I link, I'm going to use a, an official pin icon uh, from Google Maps. For example, add push pin. Red push pin. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna enter. It. Let how it goes. So delete this volcano because it's using the red dot file. Let's load. It. Let's open that newly generated. As you can see, these are all red eye, red pins now. Okay, so you can use a. Uh, even a mountain shape, okay, the, using markers from Google Maps. Let's see how to go. So you can di uh, edit this command line. So I just need to change the icon. So you can use shapes actually. Shapes, for example, mountains. PNG. These are little icons from Google Maps. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to show it again. It's a new generated of uh, okay, okay, MOL file. As you can see, this icon I showed, uh, I showed it here, different. Uh, it's mountain icon, as you can see, right? So if you click on the drop down list, this icon that becomes a mountains icon, okay? You can change another icon to any icon you want. For example, in the shapes uh, directory, you can change it to volcano. Volcano. And we delete it. Reopen it. Volcano, volcano file. See? These icons become the volcanoes. And we click on the drop down list or are changed to volcanoes. Okay. As for how to find these icons, these Google Maps 
pin icons or marker icons you go to google.com and you search google maps pin or marker icons url and then you find a website called this kml for earth okay kml for earth dot appspot dot com click on it this link and you open you can see so many icons are provided you often saw on google maps or google earth to add these icons into that command line you just need to click on any icon for example um, i can choose the push pin right push pin and as you can see the website address right what you need to add after the i argument plus is this part push pin slash blue dash push pin dot png you just need to add this part after the plus sign and that's one example for example this helicopter all you need to add after the plus sign of the i argument is the shapes heliport dot png that's it.